Hey everyone, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Um, today I'm going to go through a couple of new test kits released by Aquaforest. Their uh, nitrate test kit and uh, their phosphate test kit. Alright, so um, as you know now, uh, Aquaforest have um, had a few test kits out for a while now. I've uh, used uh, their three, their magnesium, calcium and alkalinity now for a little while. Um, I love these test kits. Um, to me, they became the new standard for the big three. Um, the fact that they came with multiple reagent bottles, um, they came with reference solution that was ICP verified, um, their price point, their availability, um, their ease of use. Um, little uh, fun fact on colorblind. So sometimes these tritation test kits are a little bit tricky for me and um, we'll see how that pans out today. But um, these ones worked well for me. Um, these are their, their newest additions to the lineup and um, obviously nitrate and phosphate are a little bit more um, complex in their um, testing mechanisms. That's why they came up with these three first. Well, I say that's why, I got no idea to be honest, but I'm gonna assume that these three are easier to formulate than uh, these two and that's why these two have come along afterwards. But um, yeah, let's give them a shot and um, just see how they work out. All right, so first up, let's uh, play with the Aquaforest uh, Test Pro Nitrate Test Kit. Um, first thing you'll notice, uh, well, first thing I noticed with this um, this packaging, these two new ones, um, where these ones have got, um, you see in the box there, it says ICP verified um, certificate inside. These ones have got the same sort of label, but it says highest accuracy. Um, it doesn't come with a reference solution that's ICP verified. So that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed was uh, whilst uh, ones like, um, those ones are pretty small, but things like the alkalinity test kit, they come with 78 to 100 tests in a box, which granted is ridiculous because I know with these tritation things, even though they come with mul multiple bottles in there, but um, once you've opened a bottle, you don't want to use it like a year later. You want to sort of get through it in like maybe three to six months, otherwise it can start to go off. But at least with the reference solution, you can keep on top of it. Um, these two new test kits, both of them are 40 tests per box, um, which is obviously a little bit lower, so you just need to factor that in. To be honest, um, I don't know how many, how often people test these things, but if you tested once a week, which is probably a recommended amount, it's gonna get you almost a year, which is probably more than long enough by then you want to be replacing the kit anyway. So. Um, whilst it's not as much as alkalinity, um, something to keep in mind. Um, so yeah, we've got the <clears throat> no reference solution and slightly lower um, number of test kits, but let's just have a look. Uh, full disclosure, I've been using uh, Red Sea Pro for my nitrate test kit. Um, first thing we notice in the box, we get uh, this waterproof, um, it's paper, but it's got a waxy coating to it, I guess. Um, we've got instructions on that side, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, you're gonna see through it a little bit. And then um, on this side, we get the color slider. Um, now, as pointed out earlier, um, my eyesight obviously with these big thick glasses and being colorblind is not the strongest, so um, color sliding test kits always struggle with me a little bit. I know um, nitrate, that's kind of just the way the game works. Um, I have found the Red Sea Pro kit to be pretty decent. That being said, and I'm sure this will be the same, um, I tend not to get too caught up in the actual number that I get, more just roughly where I am on the chart. I know that if it's um, like five and below, I'm in my sweet spot. As long as I've got some color and I'm below five, I'm happy. Once I start going over five, I get a little bit more nervous and now I need to um, look at maybe upping the carbon dosing or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not gonna give me a, a digital readout of a number, uh, which no nitrate test kit does on the market that I'm aware of, um, that I'm aware of anyway. Uh, let's have a look, so we get, first thing I noticed, we get another big plus, um, well, I've always loved with the Aquaforest kits, two of the reagents, um, which is we use reagent B, there's a, there's an A and a B in this test kit, um, the A is a powder, um, the B is a, is a solution, they give us two bottles of B, which is good, like I was talking about before, when you open that up, um, it will start to go off after a while, so this way you can leave one sealed up, um, and that just gives you a little bit more longevity out of your test kit, which is, Really nice of Aquaforest. Um, Reagent A is a uh, powder. This one looks pretty good, it's pretty fine. I get a little bit worried with some of the powder. Sometimes they can like be a bit crystallized um, and you gotta try and get this little scoop of it and you get like these big clumps in there and it's a bit awkward. You end up putting like one and a half spoons in. This one for the um, nitrate test kit's nice and fine. So that should work well. A bit of rubbish there. We get uh, some paraphernalia here. Gives you the full written instructions, but to be honest, I like the, um, I'm not big on words, even though I say a lot of words, I don't read a lot of words, so um, the handy feature will be enough for me. I get uh, 
little spiel about their new Nitrophos Minus, which is, I guess, kind of ironic because it's a nitrate test kit. So if um, yeah, you're struggling with your nitrate, you can um, dose some Nitrophate Minus. Sorry, Nitrophos Minus, close enough. And it's got some uh, other details about their other products. We'll go on to those another day. Let's uh, get into the actual testing. So today I'll be using my um, Taylor uh, Speed Stir just because this thing makes um, stirring really easy and I'm, yeah, as you can tell by now, I'm pretty lazy. So we get our vial. Uh, this test kit uses one milliliter of um, tank water, which always makes me a little bit nervous because the, the less of the amount of tank water you're using, the higher margin you have for error, I guess. It can be difficult to measure out exactly one milliliter. Uh, in this instance, I like to use um, my uh, adjustable pipettes because they can give me exactly the right amount. Um, just if, if you're steady, you make sure you get the right mark on your um, syringe that's included, you'll be fine. Um, even if you don't get the right mark, just always get the same mark so you test a consistent at least. But uh, luckily for me, I'm going to use my pipette because I paid good money for those, so I use them any chance I get. So that's one milliliter of water in. Uh, get that stirring. Now we need one childproof lock, which is handy. That tells me this stuff's probably pretty dangerous. It does have a big warning label on there. Dangerous, so I'll try not to eat it. And uh, no jokes on me struggling with the childproof lock. You need one spoon of this powder, which, uh, like I mentioned, it's quite a fine powder, which is good. Well, that end on my head, speed stirrer is going to eat that up. Now, it does say um, you get these handy little uh, stoppers that go on the um, on top of the um, vial, so you can put that on and um, give it a pretty pretty vicious stir without worrying about it coming out. I'll leave mine on the um, on the speed stir because that'll do a fine job. But if you don't have a speed stir, that's a nice, nice addition because you, I know some people put their thumb over it and like shake it, but that, I don't know. It's got a big warning on the label. I don't really want to get that stuff on my skin. All right, uh, it does say to give that a minute. Um, I, th I assume just make sure it's well and truly thoroughly mixed. Um, I'm looking at the time counting down on my camera and I've been talking for a fair while. We'll give it a few more seconds. We'll get the next um, reagent ready, which it says to use two mil of reagent. <clears throat> So I'm going to open up uh, one of the B bottles and uh, I will use the included syringe for this just because I don't want to contaminate my um, pipettes. And uh, yeah, the syringe fits neatly inside there, which is um, a good idea. Thankfully, they haven't given you something you have to tip up on its side or anything. I'm going to draw out two mil of that. Now, for those who don't know, you want the bottom of the plunger to line up on the line of the two. You may get a small air bubble under there, even though this says no bubbles. It just means no bubbles in the body. You, yeah, because the plunger only goes to the bottom here, you've still got that little bit there, you may still draw in a small air bubble. Again, don't panic over it too much. The actual number doesn't matter so much, as long as you're consistent. Um, and we're gonna assume we're close enough to a minute now, so I'm gonna pour this in. I'll just pour it in slowly to allow it to mix in as it goes. I'm starting to see a little bit of pink in there, but I will note that um, Right, so that's reagent B in. I'll just seal up my reagent so it doesn't go off too bad. Uh, it says to close and mix for 10 seconds and then wait three minutes. So I'm just gonna put a, um, a timer on for three minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Okay, three minutes and counting. Quick plug for Apple Watches there. They're really handy for things like that. Um, I'm sure other watches do it too, but I've just got an Apple Watch because I'm an Apple fanboy. So we're gonna let that count down for three minutes and then uh, in a minute, we'll, um, well, in three minutes actually, we'll have a look at the color. We'll flip it onto this side of the chart and we'll see roughly where my uh, nitrate is. All right, so that's the uh, timer done. Let's uh, turn the speed stir off and uh, remove our vial. See if we can line up the colors. I'm gonna try and give you a view on the camera. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but um, Bit windy outside today, but that's all right. Nothing, uh, no vials are blown over. So, if we have a look from the top down, probably pretty close to the color there. Definitely more. We've got we've got some color in there. Let's move that box out of the way. I put it on the zero. We've got more color than um, bring that over there. More color than that. Put it on about the one to a half mark. It's probably pretty accurate there. In fact, if anything, I'd say we're on the verge of um, a half to one. Um, if I slide it along a bit further just to 
double check that. Yeah, sorry, trying to line the camera up. No, the color chart's definitely darker there than it is in the vial. Um, so I'm gonna say that I'm more around there, which around uh, NO3 around um, three quarters to one. Suits me just fine, even one and a half. Um, ideally, I try to get my nitrates around uh, one to five, so um, a mark around that's uh, pretty good. All right, so that's the uh, nitrate test kit um, done and dusted. It seems pretty um, comparable in results to my uh, Red Sea Pro nitrate test kit. Um, I guess it all comes down to our pros and cons here. Um, I'll start from the pros of price. Um, obviously, it's going to vary a little bit from your store to store, but um, the nitrate, uh, sorry, the Aquaforest uh, test kits, I find to be a pretty good value. Um, usually around par with um, Salafet um, test kits, but I, personally, I find them to uh, have a little bit more value for money in the fact that you get um, multiple uh, bottles of reagent, some uh, nice quality uh, test kit, oh, sorry, test waterproof things like that. Um, did mention there's no reference solution in this one, which um, I guess it might be difficult to do a reference solution for nitrate, but uh, that was a real shining light for um, all their other test kits. So a little bit of a disappointment there. Um, as for ease of use, um, this one is quite good. The, um, uh, the liquid reagents as easy as it comes. The powdered reagent, which I'm always a little bit nervous about, was nice and fine, so it was easy to get a very accurate um, scoop of that. Um, and the uh, color chart for the, um, for the nitrate was pretty good. One comment I probably would have, um, I wouldn't put so much effort into anything over maybe 25 nitrate. Basically, um, in my opinion, once you're over 20 nitrate, it doesn't really matter. It's my cat coming to help. It doesn't really matter um, what the actual value is. If you're over 20, you, you need to do something about it, in my opinion. Whereas um, the results between a half and, and 10, having a real accurate number there is handy because um, the difference between, say, three and six, to me, is, is a big difference. Whereas um, the difference between 25 and 28 doesn't really make any difference to me. Um, but I don't know if that's a uh, positive or a negative. Look at cat. For some reason, my cat. Whenever I do videos outside, he always wants to get involved. Um, you get a good number of. You get a, a, a syringe just for the water sample. You get a syringe for the um, reagent B, and you get a spoon for reagent A. You get these nice little um, caps to put on the vial, which is another one, another point where um, Aquaforest are probably separating themselves in the market a little bit, uh, just trying to find that edge over the competition, I guess. That makes it a little bit easier if you don't have a speed stir to give these um, tests a good shake and a good stir without worrying about um, uh, contaminating the test with um, something on your finger or, or even just getting nasty chemicals on your fingers, I guess. So um, yeah, that's a handy addition. Um, so yeah, I guess that probably sums up our pros and cons. I'm not gonna rate them as high as their alkalinity calcium magnesium because it doesn't come with that reference solution, but um, compared to anything else in the market, I think they're probably um, just as good, if not maybe uh, just nosing um, in front with the couple of little minor additions they've added, which, um, yeah, make them a good test kit. I guess, oh, probably before I forget accuracy, um, it's always difficult to compare test kits because um, it's difficult to say which one's gonna be more accurate without a reference solution anyway. Um, I can say that my uh, Red Sea Pro nitrate um, test kit this morning gave me a result of 0.75. Um, this gave me a result somewhere between 0.5 and um, 1, so we'll call it 0.75, which means they're both giving the same result. Um, of course, they could both be inaccurate, but safety in numbers, we're going to assume that's pretty good. So, um, yeah, they're accurate as well, if you want to sign off on that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's the most important thing. So they're, they're good priced, um, available, um, quality bit of kit, accurate, uh, have some nice little touches over the competition, well worth giving them a shot. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about uh, the Aquaforest Nitrate Pro Test Kit, feel free to pop down in the questions below. And uh, I think it's this side. If you want to subscribe or give me a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Um, stay tuned. We'll move on to the uh, Phosphate Test Kit next. Thanks. Bye.